guys. What's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you are doing well. We are going to do a reading for your current love situation. We're going to look at the basis of the situation, the desires, what's working for you and against you, and the outcome. We're also going to grab a few truth oracle to see what you need to know right now around this connection. So what does Taurus need to know right now around their current love situation, please? For some, I guess it could be if nothing's going on, lack thereof. All right, what does Taurus need to know, please? If you're interested in a reading, please make sure that you check out my website when you subscribe to the emails there um, to get a discount off your first order. All right, so you have self-centered, preoccupied with interests of self, and you also have toxic, unhealthy relationship patterns. So it kind of feels like, you know, things are one-sided. Somebody puts their own interests, their own needs, their own desires, like above the we. The I is above the we. So you also have money problems. Lack of money is causing tension. So financial setbacks, but somebody may actually hide that. Like, so instead of talking about it and saying, hey, this is what I'm going through, someone shows it in completely different ways. You also have ashamed, embarrassed about past behavior and resentment, hurt and bitterness over unfair treatment. So especially if things kind of have been wishy-washy back and forth, like on, on one side, that's really starting to catch up. So then you have like the self-centered kind of ego going against like a, a very giving energy, but one that can, you know, when you give too much, it's like the same nice guys finish last. Like eventually it's possible to feel like a doormat, like feel completely underappreciated. All right. So let's see what's going on. Remember that the energies can be reversed. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Somebody like hides, hides how they really feel, hides what's going on. Like they don't, they don't talk about it. You have a pretty attractive individual there. Could be dealing with a um, fire sign or another earth sign. Doesn't have to be. All right, Taurus, current love. Let's get it. All right, sorry, I gotta re reposition. Hmm. I mean, there's actually a lot of letting go energy, a kind of a transformation. Like, you could have moved on. You have the death and the temperance there. There's that devil. All right, so um, what is the current situation around love for Taurus, please? And what are the desires? Thank you. Not you are what's working for you. The Queen of Pentacles is very caring, very loving, very grounded, very stable. The Queen of Pentacles is the one that holds it down. But then what's working against you, you also have the Hierophant, which is your energy. So we'll see how it's going um the the outcome in general it's a very forward moving motion there could be travel here there could be um moving but for the basis of the reading you have the six of swords show me the six of swords please so um there's communication coming in here the six of swords somebody could be moving or traveling like i said but that's about moving to calmer water so it's coming across as unexpected communication but there is some messages that's coming in here and it is like i said Kind of coming across as unexpected. What is this communication about? Thank you. The page of wands looks like it's good news. Um, for some, remember it's a general reading. What I'm about to tell you, this is good news coming. Um, somebody definitely could be moving, moving into a new house, moving towards like a energy of commitment. But in the back. Somebody could have been married or there even could have been like a third party situation, a situation involving kids 
whatever it was. Some there's there's regret around that. Take that for what it is, how you you know, the matter see or not. But there is there is regret that's coming or that's with that. This can go on sometimes, especially if you're not dealing with a fire sign. It has a tendency to kind of rub me the wrong way sometimes. Just kind of one of those macho, the self-centered. It goes back to that. But so you have good news that's coming in, nonetheless. Show me that Knight of Swords for desires. So the Knight of Swords, I mean, somebody does want to talk. They're trying to move forward. And again, it does look like it's going to happen. But um, it kind of takes a quick effect and then slows down. Show me that uh, Knight of Swords. We got the Five of Cups. This is interesting for, um, like, somehow, for some, not for all. But with this energy, it like leaves somebody feeling guilty. I, I, it's almost like expectations weren't met and somebody's, you know, wanting to make that up. But this energy, I want one more for desires. It's not a very, like, strong desire there. It's more like to just hold on to someone or something to change someone's perspective. Because there's been a lot of anger. Somebody could have acted like a straight uh, asshole. Uh, definitely could have been some things that were revealed there. Again, it could have been around a third party situation, but so trust your intuition with that. We're gonna see what's working for you and against you. But for desires, I mean, this this is like you know somebody who does the feelings are there. They want to make up for something, but this isn't like a strong desire. It's more like a holding on to one. Show me the Queen of Pentacles for what's working for Taurus, please. So again, the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, down to earth. Can it's it's the Queen of Pentacles takes care of family, takes care of the home. Very self sufficient energy. Look at look at you. You got the world and the Empress. That's your energy. Libra and Capricorn is also there. However, you set boundaries here. This is what's working for you. Saturn energy, but you think about um, Saturn has the ring. So you, you put restrictions, you know, you matured within this, this situation and you already know. So it really it can also zone in on what you should focus on. And that's you. That's love, romance, that's partnerships. But, you know, really setting those boundaries is going to work for you. For some, it could be travel. Show me the higher fence for what's working against Taurus. You got the Seven of Wands. You could be dealing with another Taurus. But this over here is kind of just, especially with the Seven of Wands, that's about putting your foot down. You have an apology that's coming here. But this, for some, not for all, there may be a particular like person or situation, and it just keeps, it keeps like coming. The apology is legit. Somebody may even have like a gift as well. What is that Seven of Wands? Mars energy. Trust your instinct because what you have here is an apology and somebody coming back, but that's that's coming across as what's working against you. And what's working for you is the boundaries. All right, show me the outcome for Taurus, please. So up there we got the chariot and the seven of pentacles. You do have three sevens here. Seven, seven, seven is a good luck number. Um, you can check out the short, but um, it can prove that like your, your hard work's about to pay off. And also, though, to use your past experiences to help guide like where you're trying to go. And that goes a lot in line with this energy here. All right, show me the outcome for Taurus, please. You got the Nine of Swords. So, I mean, even with this energy, you are moving forward. You're taking your time towards energy, put, and you're planting these seeds. And 
and like hopes that something's going to grow from it. So whether that's a family, a business, you know, just life in general, an investment, there is some anxiety that's with that. And the worry is coming from this, this world. It's like change can be scary. But either way, the, the way that you're moving forward, that is about getting on track. There is that anxiety that's there. If there is travel, make sure your car is up to, like, um, it's good. You got the lovers, Gemini energy. And trust your intuition about, like, why, like, um, if somebody's holding on to a different side, like the, like the Oracle is really talking about, because you could be dealing with a Gemini, but especially if we have like this back and forth, hold on energy, um, it does look like there's a pretty big change coming that you're just not seeing yet though. The Knight of Cups, the feelings are real. Somebody's approaching you and they want to, they want to put time and energy into this. Boundaries are important, but overall, besides that one energy we were seeing, um, just be mindful of that. Trust your intuition because it does look like there's a, like a real unexpected opportunity that's coming here or offer that's coming. To literally be somebody like just coming over and popping up at your doorstep or texting you ran randomly. All right, Taurus, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.